to teach you four quick steps that they taught me in the monastery. These come from the uh, fourth century. And these are how to plant a seed in your mind for things that you want to achieve. First, I'll ask you some questions. Just answer me, this is the old Tibetan system. What is this thing? Sorry. Yeah, it's a pen. Okay. Next question, if a small dog comes in here and I go like this, and I show this to the dog, what will they do with it? Chew on it. Yeah, they will buy it. <laughs> do they see this as a pen? No. They see it as something to chew. Next question, who's correct, the human or the dog? Both. Yeah, you can say both are correct. The human can write, the dog can chew. Most important question, if I come here and I put this thing here, and all the dogs go out of the room and all the humans go out of the room, at that moment, what is this thing? Pen or a chew toy? She has the best answer. She's going like this. <laughs> and that's correct answer. Right then it's almost like nothing. In Buddhism we call this emptiness. If you understand emptiness, you can make anything happen. You can make a $250 million company. You can help refugees. You know, you can do it if you understand emptiness. What does emptiness mean? If the human comes back in the room and they walk up here and they look at this thing, what does it become? It becomes a pen again, okay? Did that pen come from the human or did that pen come from the pen? From the human. If the dog walks in, it changes. It becomes a chew toy, okay? So the, the pen is coming from me. If I close my eyes and wish I had a diamond in my hand, will it change? No, okay. It's not by wishing. There's something in my mind which is forcing me to see it as a pen. In Buddhism, we call that karma, okay? There's a seed in my mind. When I look at this thing, the seed opens in my mind and it forces me to see a pen. Who put the seed in my mind? We say only you can put a seed in your mind. How do you put a seed in your mind? You go to another person, you say, I have a pen, do you want a pen? And you give it to them. When you open your hand and give them a pen or money or refugee aid or whatever, when you release the pen and you open your hand, who sees your hand open? You see your hand open and the other person sees your hand open. When you open your hand, that image goes into your mind and it creates a seed in your mind, okay? When you give something to someone else with the intention of helping them with love, then this this creates the record in your mind of that opening of your hand, creates an image, and that image comes into your mind, it presses on your mind, and it creates a seed. Okay. Then two days later, you go to a TED talk, TEDx talk, and the guy holds up this thing, and that seed opens in your mind, and you see a pen, and then you're not a dog, okay? <laughs> I only have like one second left. There are four ways to plant a seed, I'll tell you very quickly, okay? It's, you can do it for money, for $200 million, you can do it for a partner, you can do it for your health, you can do it to help the whole world, okay? There are four steps, and I, I wrote it on a piece of paper for you. But I'll, first one, decide what you want, okay? Of the, five, of the five goals I mentioned, decide which one you want. If you don't know what you want, put, I don't know what I want. I want to know what I want, okay? Second step, you must find another person who wants the same thing, okay? You must choose another person who wants the same thing. If you want a partner, you must locate a lonely person, okay? <laughs> so that's the second step. I'm not kidding. You cannot plant a seed on your own. You, can, you need another person to plant a karma, okay? Third step, take them out once a week and help them, okay? I like what we said about there can be emotional support, it doesn't have to be money. It can be love, it can be concern, it can be helping the other person to get their life together, okay? That's step number three. When you talk to them, you hear yourself talking and it plants a seed in your mind. Okay? That's called a karma. That karma can stay in your mind for a hundred years without opening, okay? And you know people who've done nice things and they've had a terrible life, okay? It's because they didn't know how to put water on the karma. So that's step number four. And that's the last thing I have to say. The trick to making those seeds in your mind open quickly and powerfully 
$200 million or a beautiful partner for your whole lifetime. The trick is to, when you come home at night, before you go to bed, you, you put your head down on the pillow and you do a small meditation, okay? With your head on the pillow. We call it coffee meditation, don't ask me why. Uh, and you think about the beautiful thing you did for somebody else. You think about the good things you've done for someone else. And when you think about them, when you think about a karma, it puts water on that karma and the karma opens in your mind quickly into the things you dream of. If you understand that, then those who want money will be giving money to others and being happy about it. Those who want health or a partner will be giving those things to others. Those who want inner happiness will try to make other people happy. And that's how you change the world. And that's how you enlighten the world. It's only by helping other people.